we are putting in ceiling subwoofers. So we had the guys from HD 2020 come in and do this really incredible install and you can see in the B-roll up here what we've done. Why don't we go and do an unboxing and do and show kind of a, a time elapsed uh, installation and we'll be right back. All right Matt, you ready to get this thing open? Yeah. Um, so some stuff needs to be cut on I think. Uh, most of it's cut. Most Go ahead and flip that. Good times, So, what are you guys unboxing? This is the uh, housing for the Jail Audio 8 inch in ceiling subwoofer. And as you can see, yeah, it's the, the uh, IWICE 108 from Jail Audio. And as you can see, it comes with uh, quite, a bit of, quite a bit of kit. So this JL Audio subwoofer system, the mounting system, is absolutely amazing. I mean, it literally decouples the subwoofer from the room so that it's basically free-floating in a ceiling or in a wall, depending on the application. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to have two in the master bedroom, correct me? Correct. Matt's already got one mounted, so he's kind of got this down now. Slight learning curve to it, but not really a big deal. They make it pretty easy. Just the, the absolute quality of the product, just from the, the cabinet standpoint, and the components, the kit that goes with it, is just over the top. Like everything JL Audio. I mean, you know, what's the biggest gripe of the, the people online or many of your listeners is JL Audio is so expensive. Well, you kind of get what you pay for, man. you really do. Sound performance, quality of product, quality of amplifiers, absolutely stunning. Tom, can you give me a hand? Yeah. That's out of the box. And then, actually, say that phone. So out of the box, they do come out set up for a standard 16 on center stud bay. They do have extension brackets. These extension brackets will let you go from 17 and a half to 24 on the center. You have to move them, remove the short ones. And this is only in our, our scenario. We are looking at a 24 on center stud bay, so we have to change these out. Now, they do make an in-wall version of this subsystem as well. different brackets so we have to swap them make sure we're using the upper on the upper and the lower on the lower lower will be the same side as your woofer housing stickers go out where it's obviously facing up. Yeah, it has arrows on everything to kind of show where it goes right? the arrows actually show you where your bracing is to be able to screw down into so if you go in the middle of the arrow you are an extra bracing and you're in a style that frame we want this to be tight this way, so we're going to shove these closer that way. And that will get us closer to this side of the stud because of our particular setup, which you'll see in a, here in a few minutes. Got that in place. Line your arrow up with the mounting hole you choose. We're going to go with the third hole in on this one. These brackets are actually just temporary brackets that uh, help you get it mounted. When you're all set and done, these will disappear. And 
and they make it real easy. They give you grooves and slots, everything kind of lines up. It's You don't have to hold much in place. These brackets here, you got two lefts and two rights. The idea is you mount them on your rafters and this will slide in place and hold it while you go to screw it in wherever you choose to screw it into. So we're gonna do that next step now. And pre-measured where I want these brackets so they line up symmetrical in the room with the other subwoofer that's already installed. So the general idea is to get them in the same setup. I have it over there. But this will allow you to slide in, the weight will hold, and you don't have to hold it in place while you screw it down. So let's make sure I actually have the right ones. There we go. We'll line that up on the pre-setup pre mark I have in place. That was the right, and I'll use the other right over here. So these brackets here are the L-bracket extension brackets. These are required when you come into a wider than standard 16 inch stud bay, 16 inch on center stud bay. What you need to do is you'll measure your actual stud bay and come back an inch. So you'll be an inch shorter on these two brackets when you're all said and done. So we've measured it. Our stud bay is 19 and a half. We're going 18 and a half and we're gonna cut these off and reinstall them to fit within the stud bay. We'll be back in a second with that. Okay, so these will slide into our brackets we have in place and then slide back to your preferred location. And now that they're sitting up there, you can walk away, find your drill, find your screws, get everything set up, and not have to hold it in place while you're screwing it in. Let me get that stuff set up, and we'll be right back. Alright, so on the... the L bracket extensions, once we've cut it down to our 18 and a half, one inch shorter than your stud bay, they actually do have pre-drilled holes going all the way down this who line up on the actual subwoofer enclosure. You use your Phillips head screwdriver screws that come with it to screw it in.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumb it up, share it, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash audioholics. And until next time, my friends, keep, keep listening. listening. Is oh, they are ported? It ports oh. with the woofer. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Really? Is it? So, yeah, so, and that, from what I read. Okay, and then they have more.